Hi guys, um, today I am going to be tackling this room. This room is one of those catch-all rooms where you just quickly toss papers and uh, miscellaneous stuff whenever you're picking up the house really quick for company. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> um, but it is a mess in here and I have um, been putting it off for months. I mean, I would even venture to say it's been like four, five, six months before I've properly um, cleaned this room or since I've properly cleaned this room. It is just really messy. We call it my scrapbook room. Sometimes I call it my room. Um, I have all of my craft stuff in here. I have some, just my makeup table is in here, just all kinds of things. So I will uh, turn you around and kind of show you what kind of mess we're looking at here and see if we can get it cleaned up now. Um, I am probably gonna take several days to work on this and I might even add on to the end of this video in certain sections where maybe I'll just go out and buy some more um, totes or boxes or organizational stuff. I really just need to go through every single thing in this room. I have, you know, photos and memorabilia boxes from like 20 years ago. I have just stuff and I really just need to purge it all. I also was thinking about some of my older scrapbook products, just donating those or selling a whole lot on um, like a one big bulk thing um, just to get rid of them. I want to narrow down the projects that I work on um, and, and get away from some of the older style scrapbooking and sort of free myself up mentally to just focus on one style um, of stuff to do and versus multiple kinds of styles of uh, memory keeping. Um, but I just want to work on this slowly so um, I will just uh, film as I feel the need to and hopefully we'll at the end of this put together something that will motivate you to tackle maybe your um, your desk, your junk area, um, even if you have a craft room. So uh, anyhow, we will uh, put some music on or a video on or something. I've got my coffee. I've got um, a thing of water. The boys are outside working on the hunting camper trailer and I'm inside having some time to myself. So um, love you guys and I uh, hope you uh, enjoy. Okay, bye. Well, looks like my desk has the most amount of trash on it or junk on it. As it's hard to tell in this room. Um, it doesn't look very messy, but it really is uh, because it's a small room. When you stand in it, you don't have much space to, to move around. So things kind of uh, overwhelm you quickly in here. But I plan on getting this all taken care of today.
All right, moving on to my scrapbook desk. I'm just trying to go through all of the little things that get shoved here on the desk. Um, I literally just kind of open the door to my room and just whatever junk mail or things that I need to put away in there, they, I just throw them on that table and then it just piles up. And whenever I want to use the table, I have to spend a long time clearing it off. I really need to do better, but you know, it is what it is. So these are little red toolboxes. They're actually uh, real toolboxes that you would see inside a garage where you'd put like wrenches and screwdrivers and small things in. I had bought these from um, Sears, oh my goodness, like 15, 20 years ago. I've just had them for the longest time and I really, really like them. I don't know if I ever will give them up, even though they don't match anything in the room. Um, but anyhow, just have a couple other little things to go through, but you guys, if you just hang tight for a second, you'll get to see my husband poke his head in the doorway here and just say, hello, he is such a mess. You guys are going to really love him. Let's, um, he is almost there. <laughs> there he is. He's so crazy. Okay, here we go again. Just stay one more night. I'll be by your side. Just. Now that I got everything cleared off, I want to give it um, all the stuff on the desk a proper wipe down. In this bucket right here is just some dish soap and hot water. I don't have anything else in it. I use this method all the time if I'm going to be wiping down a lot of things um, in a room rather than run back and forth to the sink rinsing my rag out. I will just get a bucket of water, of soapy water, and just have it with me.
Show me. 
this part of this desk um, gets a lot of junk just thrown under it. There's like a little dead beetle and some crumbs and dust bunnies. So I'm just going to take the glass off and give it a quick vacuum underneath it. Um, it's just the easiest way to get to this area. When you show me So when I was cleaning out these um, little cubbies, I came across a book that I had made um, to go with a Halloween costume um, that I wore a couple years ago. The book says, a handbook for the recently deceased, and that is from the movie Beetlejuice. And I had dressed up as Lydia Dietz um, that year for Halloween, and I had just got an old book and made a cover for it. And I had actually inside the book a couple of Polaroid pictures of the ghost in the sheets where they didn't have any feet. It was great. Um, it really uh, was super cute.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end. I am so happy to have my room put back together and the floors and the surfaces all cleaned up and uh, ready for me to trash it all over again.